If you're looking for an exciting and interesting day out in Edinburgh, Crammond Island ticks all the boxes. The island is located at Crammond in the Firth of Forth, opposite the mouth of the River Amund. Crammond is about a half hour's drive from the city centre. The island is tidal and only accessible at low tide by a causeway over Drum Sands, which is about three quarters of a mile long. Please note that you must check the safe crossing times at the beginning of the causeway, or you could be stranded by the incoming tide. The causeway can be slippy, so please wear strong, grippy footwear and take your time. The island is owned by the Dalmeny Estate and covers an area of 19 acres. Given its close proximity to the Scottish capital, the island has a remarkably peaceful and remote feeling and makes the perfect escape from city life. The island is currently uninhabited and while there is no direct evidence of Roman occupation, it seems unlikely that it wouldn't have been useful to them given that they built a major fort and harbour at Cramond. There's also evidence of the island being settled in prehistoric times with the discovery of at least one burial cyst. All across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace The views from this old gun emplacement are absolutely fabulous today. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful day in Edinburgh. At the beginning of World War II, the island was requisitioned by the Ministry of Defence and is still full of fascinating gun emplacements, ammunition stores and engine rooms from that time. The largest gun emplacement is the 75mm, located at the end of the causeway which protected the South Shore. One of the most striking features of the walk to the island is the large concrete pylons which were built to stop enemy submarines and naval craft from passing between the island and Cramond Harbour. So here we are on Cramond Island and I think this must be one of the nicest days I've ever experienced in Edinburgh. It's probably about 27-28 degrees which is really quite unheard of even in the summer. There's a path that leads from the shore as you uh, approach the island all the way through the island and uh, it's worth just exploring it. The island was quite heavily fortified during the Second World War and it's really interesting uh, looking out uh, for all the old gun placements. Uh, they're very, very interesting, full of graffiti of course, but uh, very, very interesting to go and have a look around. Do I made me so 
island has a long history of sheep farming and the stone remains of a farmstead can be found in the small secluded woodland in the centre of the island. If you venture off the paths around the perimeter of the island, you'll find this lovely interior woodland. It's got lots of lovely little pretty flowers and the way the light dapples through the trees is really lovely, especially on this summer day. So now, 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 the world is spinning round, 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 and I want you now, and I want you now, and I want you now. Cramond Island is a truly fascinating place and a little oasis of calm and serenity. Walking along the secluded, beautiful beaches, feeling the warm sea breeze on your skin, it's hard to believe you're just minutes away from Edinburgh city centre. Just make sure you cross safely, know the safe crossing times and leave with plenty of time to cross back to the mainland. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for future videos.